Hi everybody, I'm Terry Mariani, the voice of the Vikings of women's basketball. We're excited for another Big Sky women's basketball season. I'm here with Portland State head coach Lynn Kennedy and coach the last couple of years, you've had a very young roster. You've dealt with freshmen one year, sophomores. You now have some experience on your roster. How does that change your expectations in practices and in games? You know, I think uh, just the way we finished last year, too, we kind of put it all together at the end of last year and made a run in the Big Sky Tournament, um, finishing in the semifinals against Idaho State. And I think carrying over to our spring and summer and now into our fall workouts, um, we have the expectations, we want to be better. Um, we have that maturity now as a group. Uh, we're still young, we have no seniors on the team, but we have that experience playing in a uh, conference tournament, advancing, and we now we, we have that taste, we want to be that much better this year. We're anticipating you know, taking that next step and that rebuilding process we started a couple years ago. We have the core of your team back from last year. Tell us a little bit about a couple of the new players that we might see who will have some impact on your team this year. Yeah, you know, when we look at it, um, we have Kiana Brown coming in as a transfer. She's going to add some experience at the guard position. Uh, she's played a couple, couple different spots uh, for us, uh, two, three. She can even play some of the one. So that's good to have that experience. Uh, having someone that's played at the highest level come in and contribute right away for our team. Um, our freshmen have been awesome this, this you know, fall coming in really working hard, they have experience. Nowadays, you know, you have club players, they play the highest level, play everybody in club basketball season. They can come in, they're playing those same players and we're playing uh, tough teams in the preseason and during conference season. So they've stepped in, they've competed, uh, they're working hard. I see all of them contributing. Um, Kylie Jimenez has stepped up, you know, at that one position, Labria Denson at that one position too as well. And that was kind of their, our weakest spot coming into the preseason as far as who's going to take kind of that leadership, that point guard position for us, and kind of take it to the next level. So we're excited about both of them stepping in and, and contributing, and, and we're looking forward to the season. I know coaches certainly want improvement in all areas of the game. Yeah. Is there one particular area that you're looking for, maybe not so much in improvement, but in consistency when it comes to playing the games? I think last year we, we really focused on the offensive end, you know, just making that, uh, that next step offensively, you know, making our fast break, our transition, going to our offensive sets and, and focusing on that. We saw a huge improvement in our field goal percentage, uh, finishing number one in the nation. So I think this year it's been a little bit more as far as our defensive end and our rebounding. Um, you know, we're still working on taking care of the ball, but I think the emphasis this, this fall has been uh, defensively stepping up, playing a little bit more aggressive, um, and then making sure that we, you know, really execute our rebounding, because uh, that really starts our attack on the offensive end. Well, opponents certainly give you a lot of challenges, but you have another unique challenge this year that's out of your control. With the construction of the Viking Pavilion, all of your home games will be played off campus. How have you prepared your team for that? I, it's a good thing, first of all. I mean, just come every day to work and see the construction and just see the arena taking form, and it's going to be exciting next year to open that up. Um, Lewis and Clark College has been great working with them and, and being able to have a place that's close to campus. Um, you know, the transportation back and forth will not be that bad. Um, and so I, we're looking forward to getting over there and being close to campus. Um, and we have three non-conference games and then we have our Big Sky Conference over there. But, you know, it's just another challenge. I think it's gonna help us prepare us for the Big Sky Conference. Um, you kind of go through that, the ups and downs as far as a preseason schedule when you play on the road. We were prepared for that last year, you know, playing in Las Vegas and, and playing in Reno for the Big Sky Tournament. So we just, we kind of just hopefully we get geared towards those tournaments and, and really prepare us for that end run at the Big Sky Conference Tournament. Well, you talk about your preseason uh, schedule. Looking at competition is very tough. Yeah. Also, you're playing eight of the 11 on the road. How do you see those games preparing you for the conference play? Tough teams. I mean, that's what we wanted. We wanted to step up our level of play against competitive NCAA or WNIT teams. Um, and we've got that. We've got, you know, most of our games in the preseason are against postseason teams from last year, UNLV to start. I mean, they had an unbelievable season. Um, and then we have Gonzaga and Ole Miss. Um, and it just continues, you know, with, with our preseason schedule. So, you know, for us stepping up in the preseason, 
uh, playing those tough teams hopefully prepares us for the Big Sky Conference and then you know we get those away games back next year as our home games so that's going to be exciting too. Well you've been with your team a couple weeks had a few practices what excites you about this team? They're just working hard. I, I think that we're seeing a team that's coming together. We're a young team again with no seniors, like I said, but the team is working hard. We're, we need to get healthy. I think you know every team goes through that in October, November, getting healthy and getting prepared for the preseason schedule. Uh, but if we do that, if we stay healthy, uh, this team is, it has a chance to be a special part of Portland State history and what we can do this season. Who do you see on this team emerging as your leaders that you'll be relying on? You know, I think it goes back to last year. We had so many young players. We didn't really have, you know, leaders that stepped up, but we did throughout the year. Uh, Sydney Riley, Ashley Bolston. Um, this year, Kiana Brown has stepped up too and been one of those leaders. Um, and Courtney West. I think that, you know, those four, they, they've they have that experience. They played at the highest level and they help our freshmen and our sophomores kind of each and every day get ready for practice and prepare us for the games. Well, Coach, thank you for that transition. That allows me to easily seg segue into my next guest, and that's junior redshirt post player Courtney West. And Courtney, you heard your coach talk to you, talk about you being a leader on this team. What does that mean to you? Uh, it definitely means stepping up in the leadership role, uh, just being someone that my teammates can rely on, whether it's on or off the court. I know it's definitely hard being an interna international player. Uh, we have quite a few as well this year. Uh, just being someone that they can go to when they have questions about anything on campus, off campus, uh, someone that they can uh, go to if they have trouble with things. I think just being, yeah, someone they can rely on. Well, you had a great first year as your Viking career. Courtney averaged 10.5 points a game, 7.5 rebounds, 2.9 block shots, which you led the Big Sky in. What have you done in the offseason to prepare yourself for this year? Uh, I think definitely keeping in shape. We play such a fast-paced game that keeping in shape basketball-wise is a lot harder than it is um, to just stay in regular shape. So uh, lots of sprint work, lots of staying in shape, uh, keeping fit, and then just working on one-on-one. -on -one. Um, the posts have been bonding together a lot, working together, playing one-on-one, -on -one, uh, working on those sort of skills, and I think that definitely will help in the upcoming season. Is there a particular part of your skill set, of your game, that you're looking to improve upon the most from, next, from last year? Uh, I think the one-on-one -on -one work, definitely uh, attacking the basket with confidence, um, and then probably offensive rebounds. I'd like to always be there, whether it comes to me or not, but be there for the rebounds, get a second chance. Why well, I asked your coach this question, you've been in practice a couple weeks. What do you see or maybe some of the special traits that you see of this year's team? Uh, I think we've actually bonded together really well. I think last year we were sort of lacking that uh, team kind of feel and it definitely this year everyone wants to get in the gym, work harder, uh, work together and we've all sort of bonded in a way that actually pushes each other to get better. Well you might tell that Courtney has a little bit of an accent. She's from Sydney, Australia. That's a long way from home. How hard is it, you know, being that far away from family to focus on academics and on basketball? Uh, I think it sort of took a long time to sort of get in the groove of things. Um, I was used to having a big family and being around people all the time, but it's sort of a different environment, so it was sort of a lot easier to adapt. Um, being independent, that came down to a lot of it and actually having to manage things myself. Um, but I think there's just, it's been kind of good to get into a groove of um, working on <laughs> basketball and my academics like side by side. Well, speaking of family, you had a brother that, Jordan, that played down at Southern Oregon, not too much older than you. There had to be some great one-on-one -on -one contests. Talk a little bit about what it's like to have him as a competitor. Uh, I'd say it has taught me a lot, uh, watching him play, whether it's we play together or uh, watching him on the court. He's a lot bigger than I am, and as much as I'd hate to admit it, yes, he beats me up a lot. <laughs> um, but definitely has made me grow as a person, just being stronger and being like having to look after the ball a lot more when we do play. But I like watching him play because I feel like we have a similar style, um, and I feel like it's taught me a lot, just the different moves that he does, or he'll teach me things, and we'll just get in the backyard and play together. <laughs> Well, Courtney West and Coach Lynn Kennedy, we appreciate your time this afternoon. We're looking forward to a great season this year. We hope you'll join us for the home contest on Watch Big Sky TV, powered by Pluto TV. I'm Terry Mariani. Go Vikes!